and welcome to Shakarami Fashion. My name is Patricia and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to draft a basic bodice pattern. A basic bodice pattern is something you could end up using to make your dresses, your tops, your blazers, your jackets and several other designs because it covers the top half of your body that is from your shoulder to your hip. So if you like to know how I made this pattern, then you keep on watching. It's a highly requested video and you have to make sure you stay to the end so you could grab the whole process in making this pattern. So guys, without further ado, let's get started. material for today's tutorial so I've got my scissors my ruler my marker pen and my measure tape so this is my sewing paper for the tutorial so now we'll go ahead to draft out our pattern so now we have two types of measurements we have the horizontal and the vertical measurement so the vertical measurement is the one we measure along our body that is from the shoulder to um, your nipple point from the shoulder to your waistline from the shoulder to your hip those are your vertical measurement why the one the horizontal measurement is the one we measure across our body that is from that is across your waist circumference that's at, um, your hip circumference and your nipple to nipple points so now we just not our vertical measurement first so I'll mark from my shoulder I'll mark down one inch from here so I'll rule off this thing so this is my shoulder line so from my shoulder line I'll be marking my vertical measurement I'll mark from shoulder to my nipple point that is ten and a half from my shoulder to my waistline 16 then from my waistline to my hip line that is I'll be bringing down it for my hip line so I'll draw out my horizontal line okay I've marked out my horizontal line I've marked my, my horizontal line so now I'll go over to the shoulder so I'll be marking three inches for the shoulder then I'll be using the 3 by 3 inches measurement so I'll bring down 3 inches then I'll go in for the shoulder by 5 inches then I'll connect my I'll connect my neckline like this now I'll be coming down by one inch for my shoulder slope because our shoulder is not is not in um, this in a straight form it's slanted so I'll be coming down by half by one inch for my shoulder slope then I'll be connecting it from my three inches down to that place so now I'll be marking out my horizontal measurements my bust is my bust is 36 and still divided by 4 I'll be dividing my measurement by 4 so I'll be marking 36 divided by 4 so I'll be using my tape for to divide my measurement so that 6 divided by 4 will be giving me 9 so now I'll be marking out 9 I'll be marking out nine here and down to my waist my waist is 28 28 divided by 4 will be giving me 7 so I'll be adding 1 inch for my dart I'll be adding 1 inch for my dart 
don't worry when i get to the dark spot when i get to marking out my dart i'll show you why i added one inch so my hip is 38 38 divided by four will be giving me nine and a half so i'll be marking out nine and a half here so i'll be connecting the points like this So at this point, I won't allow this place to be sharp like this, this edge. So I'll make it a bit curvy because our body is not sharp. Our body is, is curvy. So I'll use my free hand sketch and curve it a little like so. So now we'll go back to our neckline. So I'll be coming in by one inch due to I didn't have I don't have my my master a material for cutting so i'll be coming in by one inch to get accurate curve for my neckline so i'll be covering it like this so i've used my free hand sketch to cover up my neck so i'll go over to the armhole area So for the arm hole area, I'll be coming down by seven and a half for my arm hole. So I'll be marking out this out. This becomes my chest line. So I'll be marking it out. I'll be marking a straight line here to form my my chest line. So I've gone ahead to mark out my armhole line. Then I've indicated the measure, the um, point of my line. So that this is my bust line, this is my chest line, this is my waist line, this is my hip line, this is my center front on fold for both the front, for both the front and the back. So now I'll be coming, I'll be coming out here by one inch. Be coming out here by one inch to ease freeness around the armhole area. So I'll be joining to this place. So now to get my front arm armhole, so I'll be dividing this seven and a half into two into two equal parts that is this place so from here i'll be coming in by some person's coming by one inch some person's coming in by 0 0.5 inch so a person's coming by 0 0.7 inch so i'll be coming in here by 0 0.75 inch so i'll be connecting it from here to here and down to this place so i've marked out my um, armhole curve this is my armhole curve for the front. So now I'll be marking out for the back measurements. So for the back measurements, I'll, I'll be marking it out just the same way. So I'm using my freehand sketch, but if you have your armhole curve material, you can use it and curve it out. So now I've curved that for my back armhole. So now I'll be cutting it out to show you how it looks like. But before I cut it out, before I cut it out, I have to mark out my front, my back neckline. So I'll be coming down by one inch here from my shoulder. I'll be coming down by one inch to mark out my back neckline. So in the same way, I'll be covering it. So now this pattern that I've drawn out now is this pattern that I've drawn out now is without um is without allowance. So now I'll be adding I'll, I'll be adding my allowance so it will be easier for me to drop out on my fabric. I'll be adding one inch allowance on on all sides. 
So I'll be using my colored marker to add my one inch allowance. I'll also be adding my one inch allowance for my hemming, for the down part for hemming. So on the shoulder part, I'll be adding half inch allowance for my shoulder allowance for joining shoulder to shoulder. So now I'll be cutting it out and I'll show you what it's looking like. But before that, I have to join it with my ruler to show you the difference. this is what it looks like adding my one inch sewing allowance so I'll cut it out and show you now but I'll first of all cut out my back pattern Now before I cut, I have to add my dart to my pattern. So to add your dart, you have to divide your span measurement, your bust span. That is, if your bust span is nine inches, you divide it by two. That is four and four point five. But if your bust dart, for me, my bust dart is four inches. So I'll be dividing mine by two. That is four inches. So dividing it. For my bust that by two, that is four inches. I'll be marking it out here to get my bust to get my dart. So now, I, to, get your, to get your dart now, you have to come up from your hip line, not this allowance, so your, your initial hip line, not the allowance hip line. So you have to come up by, for, from your hip line by 2 inches. Then from your bust line, you come down by 1 inch, 1 inch to get your front bust, your front dart. So I'll be connecting it. I'll be taking in half half inch on both sides. Some persons take in 0.75 inch on both sides. I'll be taking in half inch on both sides. Then I'll connect it, connect the points together. And this is my front dart pattern then the difference between your front dart and your back dart is that the back dart you have to from here on your bust line you will come up by one inch then draw it from your bust from your from your bust line to the waist then to your hip that's all the difference between your back and your bust and your front dart so i'll be cutting it out and i'll show you so now I've cut out my pattern, I've cut out the back armhole, the back neck and the allowance. So I'll be dividing this 
remember this is our center front so if you are cutting it on your fabric you will cut it on fold so I'll go ahead now and cut out my front neckline and our front I'm whole. So I'll be using this now to trace out my back pattern so I can get the that point for my dart. So I'll be tracing out my measurements. it in a straight form so now this is now our first this is our bust line and this is our waist this is our hip. So now to mark out my darts now, I have to take my span measurement, that is 4 inches. So I'll be drawing out a straight line. I'll be coming up as I told you from my bust for the back that you have to come up by one inch I'm gonna, I'll be coming up by one inch then take it in half inch on both sides on my waist then the same thing for the front come up by two inches then you connect the point So this is what our back that looks like. This is what our this is what our front pattern looks like. So this is the difference. But some persons can decide to curve there. If you're making a top with it, you can decide to curve it here just to give it a little fancy or a little beauty to it. That's just it. So if you're cutting this on your fabric, you have to add your zip allowance. If you're cutting this on your fabric, the front part on your fabric, you have to add, you have to cut it on fold. Don't cut it singly. Don't cut it open. Depending on the style you're making, if you're making a blazer, you have to cut it open. But if you're making a a, a dress, a simple dress, you have to cut it on fold. So now this is my front, and this is my back. the class was helpful if you have any question you can ask in the comment section please don't forget to subscribe bye